Welcome to a Winter Wonder Hub video. This series of videos are designed to encourage you and your family to enjoy Saskatchewan's great winter weather. And here is just one example of the many things you can do outside to build memories together. Let's get to it. Okay, let's make bubble juice. These are all the things you're going to need to make bubble juice. You're going to need 200 milliliters of water, uh, 2.5 tablespoons of corn syrup, right there. Uh, you could use glycerin if you uh, have glycerin at home, that's awesome. But if you don't, you can use corn syrup. That's to make the um, bubbles nice and thick so that they don't break easily. Uh, you're going to need two tablespoons of sugar and two and a half tablespoons of dish soap. So those are all the ingredients. You're gonna need, of course, then measuring spoons and that to do that, to get all the right um, measurements. And this is the order you must do them in. I'm gonna show you how to do it so that uh, you don't get a lot of bubbles to begin with. We don't want bubbles now, we want bubbles later. So we start with the water. And we're going to add to that the corn syrup. Then we're going to add the sugar, and we need to stir this and dissolve the sugar. That means the sugar needs to uh, start to disappear. We're gonna stir slowly and get all that mixed up and dissolve the sugar. We don't wanna feel the sugar, we don't wanna see the sugar. We want it to dissolve. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we add the dish soap. If we had added the dish soap before this, then we'd have a whole bunch of bubbles and we don't want bubbles yet, we want bubbles later. So now we're gonna add the dish soap. This is gonna create those beautiful bubbles that we're gonna make outside because it's fun to be outside. Mix this in slowly because like I said, we don't want the bubbles now. We just want this to be our bubble juice so that we can make bubbles outside. So there we go. That mixes pretty quickly. And then you're gonna take this bubble juice outside and let it get colder. You don't want it to freeze yet. You don't want it to get frozen. You just want it to chill, just chill. <laughs> so that's gonna happen. So I'll put that away. I'll take that outside. And while you're waiting for that to chill, you can make your bubble blaster. So you just need a bottle like this. This is a 500 milliliter water bottle. Uh, that's the best size. Then you're going to uh, take the cap of it and um, poke a hole in it with a nail. Get an adult to help you with this. You can either poke a hole with a hammer or a nail or uh, a drill. If you have a drill at home, that'd be awesome. And then you find your straw and you put that in there. And what you're going to do, is there's air coming through there. We don't want any air coming through the hole there. So you can take a little bit of Play-Doh or modeling clay like I have here, and you just put it around that. And there we have our air blaster. So the air in our lungs is warm and the air outside is very, very cold today. Um, so Air likes to get bigger when it when it's warm. So what happens if you use your lungs to blow in to make a bubble? If you just took the straw and blew, your air, warm air would make that bubble warm and it would explode. It would, it would break really really easily. So that's why we need the temperature of the juice to be the same temperature um, as the uh, air outside, and that's why you took your bubble juice outside. So let's wait for that, and I'll catch you on the other side. Bye for now. So there is my bubble juice sitting in the snow, nice and chill. And I'm gonna take my bubble blaster and I'm gonna dip it in a good inch or so, or even more, into the bubble juice. And now we're gonna squeeze and see if we can get frozen bubble. <gasps> I think there's one coming. Oh, I pushed a little too hard. Just keep trying, just keep trying. There we go. Ooh, I'm gonna try again. Now you just gotta carefully just let it see. Oh, I can see the crystals forming on it. I'm hoping you guys can see that. I'll take more pictures of that, but it's amazing. There's crystals forming right over top of it. Oh, there we go. Can you see? That's amazing. 
and it's not breaking and it's got a little a little end to it maybe i can make a little animal with that let's see i'm going to dip some more into my blaster and see if i can make a little bubble animal that'd be amazing oh <laughs> i made the head can you see that can you see how it's kind of turning into a it's not as clear bubble anymore because it's got crystals all over it from the sugar and from the cold air amazing that's awesome all right this is gonna be fun i'm gonna see what else i can make now maybe you can have challenges with your family oh see what i did is i oh well look at that when you drop when you drop your juice onto those bubbles they break so you gotta be really careful that's okay this is gonna be the fun part of it because you get to just try out things and see what works and what doesn't work. You can maybe have a challenge to say, who can make the biggest bubble? Or who can make a tower of bubbles? <gasps> wow, guys, can, oh, that popped, but I can see the crystals forming. It's minus 23 out here today. So that's pretty darn cold. And I think that's why we can really get a good look at those formations, form, or the crystal uh, crystallization forming on top of the, Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you guys are gonna love doing this. It's so much fun. I'm gonna keep playing out here, outside in this beautiful weather. I'm dressed all warm. So if you guys go outside, make sure you're dressed all warm too so that you can have a lot of fun outside with your family. All right, take care everybody. Stay sweet, parakeet. I hope you had a lot of fun learning how to make frozen bubbles. It was so much fun. Please feel free to share your photos of all the fun you and your family have outdoors to hashtag get wonderfied and hashtag wintercityyxe. If you like and share this video, you'll be entered for a chance to win one of eight outdoor play prize packs that can be picked up right at Wonder Hub. Also, check out our outdoor park program schedule for all the dates and locations where Wonder Hub will be to play and explore with children and families in parks all across Saskatoon. A huge thank you to the City of Saskatoon and Winter City YXE for supporting these cool programs. Remember to like and share, and we'll see you there.